Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this issue of Ayuta TV, the online talk show of the International Association of the Universities of the Third Age. Our topic today is focused on two Mediterranean tales, two important events of the UTA movement held simultaneously at the most western and the most eastern sides of the Mediterranean Sea. In the Balearic Islands, we have the 10th International Summer Senior University organized by Universitat de les Iles Balears under the motto, The Magic of Traveling. At the same time, at Lebanon, the UTA at the American University of Technology opens its new academic year. So today we will discuss these two important topics. And we are honored to have as our participants at the Balearic Islands, Professor François Valas. Hello. Who is the, hello, who is the, the president of Ayuta? We have Maria Chester, who is the secretary general of Ayuta. We have the hosts of the 10th summer school, Professor Carmen Orte. Mm. And we have <laughs> Joan Amer from the, from the University of the Balearic Islands and it is our honor. So today we speak about the 10th summer school for, for people of the third age, which was held at the University of the Balearic Island. And I will ask first Professor Orte, uh, or can I call you Carmen? Is uh, okay? Yes, of course. Yes, thank you. So Carmen, please tell us more about the history of your summer university. Well, we started this program 10 years ago because we wanted to have some kind of uh, Erasmus, like the younger people. Uh, and we thought it, was, it would be nice to have people from different places in Europe to be together and to share their feelings and their thoughts about uh, long life learning. And then we created the first program. And then until then, and now we have been doing some, every year we, we do a monographic uh, uh, surrounding a, a subject like, for example, um, in this year, the magic of traveling or in other occasions, uh, subject related with uh, the Balearic Island, for example, the climate or the water or the nature or products from Mallorca. The, the, the special uh, thing related with this program is the type of, um, uh, activities we do, like, for example, they are in the university all the time, following lectures related with the monographic subject, but they go to do some hiking and they go to do swimming and they go to museums and they they travel, for example, they, in this case, this year, they went to the to Sawyer with a little train. Well, everything they do is related with the main subject. Mm. And how usually you choose the, the subject of each summer school? Well, it, it has to, to, to do with me, in this case, because I am a traveler. I travel a lot. And I thought when you travel, you have to have uh, some feeling, some, some good, uh, thought, th uh, some good uh, thoughts about the country and the culture. And you, you have to do something like, for example, uh, if you go to a place, you have to know they speak, in this case, we speak Catalan and Spanish. You have to know this and respect. They, they use these two languages. The, you have to respect uh, how they eat and the product they eat and everything related with the, the culture. So uh, I, am, I used to, to do very often, I travel a lot, then I thought maybe these students are very similar to me, like me, and they, they, they will enjoy thinking about this idea. And in the middle of all of this is uh, also now we, are, we have uh, a big discussion about tourism in the cities, the identification, and many, many, many situations related with, the, the, with traveling and with the cities you visit and we put all together in the in the program just to to have to to get the opinions of the students about this subject 
And Nothing is wrong, Yogi? No, no it is perfect. Uh, I'm just trying to show how the, the oh, website okay, of okay, the okay, summer okay, school <laughs> uh, looks. So it's okay. A very good uh, website and very useful as an information. So the magic of traveling. And uh, can you share more about the program uh, this year? Can you share something about the content, the lectures, the lecturers? how you choose the topics of these lectures. We have two of the lecturers today. In the morning, uh, Maria Chester was a lecturer, I yes. think. And in the evening, Professor Francois Velas will uh, give his lecture. So oh. how usually you, you make the content, the structure of the lectures of the summer school and all the other activities? Yes, we will go with this with Joanna Mert. He's, no. he's going to talk now. Thanks. Good. Hi, Georgie. Thanks for the invitation and to be here uh, today with this very nice uh, technology to do this online TV channel uh, across the Mediterranean. Re in related to the question uh, and connected with the contextualization that uh, Professor Ortez said, we have to say that we are tackling with uh, different aspects of tourism and traveling. In this sense, we started with a very nice conference about creative tourism, a concept that goes beyond co cultural tourism from Professor Carlos Santos, also Vice Secretary, Vice General Secretary of the Ayuta. After that, we move on to the topic of um, specific companies and how they brand tourism in different ways. We had a, a very interesting lecture on solidarity tourism, responsible tourism, NGO tourism. We had also a conference about spiritual tourism and different enclaves in Mallorca, like monasteries, sanctuaries that are special places for meditation, for yoga, for religious or spiritual retirement. So we have these different types of tourism or different types of, of traveling, which are also very interesting from creative tourism to spiritual tourism to um, solidarity tourism. Then uh, the day after we move to the tourism impacts. So we say uh, traveling, the, the Paris tourism consumption, new patterns, new tourism cultures, all this in a very divulgative way, in a very, uh, uh, for audience who are people with uh, different degrees, different procedents, cultural procedents, but we uh, rigor and a scientific level, but also uh, uh, transferable for the whole society and transferable for different audiences as the students we have. We also have dealt with the impacts of tourism, as I was saying, Yesterday we had especially uh, uh, two lectures about the impact of tourism in Palma, especially in Palma downtown. One was with a question mark at the end, say, tourism kills the city, and question mark. And the other one was about Palma and uh, the um, transformation of Palma through images, through photographic images. Also very interesting from a photographer that is doing international collaborations on this field. And yesterday we had a field trip to a, a nice, um, town in the north of of the island, also related to uh, another type of tourism, agricultural tourism, cultural tourism. And today we had, a, in the morning, and yet in a, in a while we have the closing session, in the morning we had a very interesting conference and an interesting lecture from the General Secretary Maria Chester on traveling uh, uh, into time and sexuality in the ancient age. And also we had a uh, lecture on tips for traveling. So, uh, well, Maria Chester will be able to explain uh, <laughs> later on um, her uh, interesting lecture. On the other lecture, we have to say that uh, they were given uh, they, they were given very useful and practical tips from a person that has a, a long trajectory in, in traveling. And I want to quote a nice sentence that he said: "That when you travel, you have to go with all of your hair." I think that's a good motto, a good slogan for senior students uh, who are on study tours or different types of mobilities around the world. I think uh, it's a wise recommendation to travel with all the herd. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. In your opinion, what makes the good experience for a senior tourist? Because this is a specific group. Mm -hmm. Senior tourism is really different uh, from the tourism for the teenagers, for the, for the students in the university. Seniors have different needs. And in your opinion, what really seniors appreciate in traveling and visiting new places? Yeah, I think that's a good question for Professor Ortega. I can change the differences between 
what are the aspects that they appreciate the most, the senior students while traveling? Mm. Well, it's not a general, it, it not a general answer about this because it depends on the background of the student, it depends on the country of uh, precedence. It's not easy because, for example, I was explaining to my fellows today that, uh, for example, this year they are very, very happy, happier than other years, and it wasn't because the program, because the program is nice, but it's not. I don't think it's better than last year or better than the first one we, we have uh, prepared. But uh, it was related with the relationship they, they made with the, their fellows because they, the group is smaller than other years. So I think um, it has to be with this, with the relationship they can do in, in, a, in this context. For me, I think is the, the, the key. I see, thank you. It's very, very important now from my perspective. And uh, maybe now is the time to turn to Maria Chester. Yes. Maria? Well, Maria. I have some comments to the answer that was given by Professor Orte regarding okay. our third age travelers, because uh, I represent United Kingdom uh, to the UCA and IUTA. And in the University of the Third Age, our motto in United Kingdom is live, laugh, learn in the sense of the importance of, that has the relationship with other people because uh, when you are in the third age you can be a, wid a widower or a widow and you need um, sometimes to meet other people and you three is idea because you you will find in a group people that has your same interests and that is an important thing maybe that would explain this but in a little yeah. group, maybe you you have the chance yes. to, of to making friends yes yes and it's a it's a turning point in your life sometimes you know um <laughs> good good very good <laughs> very good uh, so some of the shared experience that you you will uh, give to to the learners at the summer uh, university in Mallorca is your lecture you already gave the, you you gave this experience to to the people who attend uh, the summer yes. university yes so how people react to such topics like sexuality oh, well, in the it's ancient a world it's a variety of uh, reactions uh, <laughs> some people is that ah huh? <laughs> in the sense of oh can we talk openly um, <laughs> The thing is that um, I do art history and archaeology, and when I do both, like in this occasion, it's very interesting because uh, my course is based in uh, findings, like old tablets in Mesopotamia, or murals from Egypt, or uh, sculptures uh, in India, or um, uh, Vedas in India, and uh, we talk mainly of three subjects uh, uh, across the centuries. Um, we go back 7,000 years old, back, 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 to the most recent is Rome. <laughs> so we start, you know, in the old India, China, Japan, and then uh, reach Greece and Rome. <coughs> the thing is that we try to investigate or try to um, yes study the different approach to marriage to prostitution and to a homosexuality and it's uh, three topics that we explore in all those old civilizations and the difference between eastern and western civilizations and the things the romans did or the greek uh, had the platonic love and etc. So it's uh, extremely interesting and the group is very clever <laughs> Because you can feel with, with, with some questions you can feel that they are engaged in the topic and in the subject I think it's very interesting. You can invite me. I can go to <laughs> Bulgaria <laughs> Ayuta, TV. Ayuta TV We can do a course on that We will, we will consider <laughs> this something Related with, the, uh, with our yes. students One thing important about these students is that they have a special profile Many of the, these students are half a degree or more than that And ah. we don't select, we don't choose that 
but they choose yeah. the yeah. program and yeah. they have a very yes. big background. Yes. Mm. And mm. this is one thing. Yes. And the other thing related with sexuality is Rome is very far. <laughs> it's different when you talk about sexuality related with the people, seniors, these days. I because know. we organized some one, one big yeah. program related with sexuality, very, very nice, and the people say, well, <laughs> no, I don't think I need to know anything new. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's good to, yes. to talk about sexuality Probably, yes. in this context of... Yes, it's just those three topics. Marriage, prostitution, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, sexuality in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was a fantastic experience with clever questions, and I think everything went on wheels. But we have to ask them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Professor Velas, I would like to ask you to about the practices of uh, summer schools around the world, summer schools for seniors. You have this broad information, you have such a broad view on this uh, phenomenon. So, could you tell us more about the summer universities or short time uh, courses uh, for, for elderly people, for adults? And what is the specific in different places in the world? We know something about uh, Mallorca, but there are also other places. So. What is the specific, according to your observations, about your opinion, in this practice for elderly uh, learners? Yes, summer universities are very important now, because uh, it's a way to develop uh, lifelong learning, and the UTA, University for Senior, University of Third Edge, all the year round. Why to do that all the year round? Because some seniors are uh, perhaps more isolated during the summer than it is during the, uh, the rest of the year. So uh, they need to uh, do something uh, that is uh, not only to stay at home, not only sometimes to go as usual holidays, but to do something new. And for that, summer university is very important. Um, but uh, I would like to say that uh, there is, until now, a few uh, summer universities. Sometimes uh, there are some experience of summer university, but the one here in Balear is one of the most important because, as uh, Professor Carmen Orte said, it is a 10 years uh, summer university with different topics and involving different uh, nationalities. Um, if we look to other countries, mo most of the time it is a summer university for uh, mainly the senior student from one country yes. that go to some place, this is the case in UK, yes. uh, and uh, so they, they have some topics yes. that are uh, quite interesting as well, but they are from one country. Uh, I have the experience as well, and uh, it was uh, three years ago in Poland. In Poland, there was a summer university that is something a little bit special. It was in a, in a small village in the countryside at the border between Poland and Belo Belarus mm -hmm. and Ukraine. So it was a way for uh, the senior students from UTA in Belarus and Ukraine to move to another country, because as you know, in a, a, in some country, this is the case in Eastern New York, the, 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 the capacity to afford is quite low because of exchange rate and so on. And so, as it was very close to go to Poland, they could come from Belarus and to Ukraine to Poland. Mm -hmm. And it was a very successful uh, uni uh, summer university as well. And that could be uh, developed. That means uh, uh, to have summer university with different people coming from uh, quite a lot of countries, such as it is in Balear, because in Balear there is a good connecting flight with uh, all Europe and the low cost uh, flight, so it's easy to come. But as well, that could be done between 
one country and the neighbors. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, you are in Bulgaria, that would be between Bulgaria and uh, Greece, uh, Greece yes. or uh, Bulgaria and Romania or, uh, or this country. And uh, that could be a good way as well to develop uh, university for senior, mm -hmm. for summer, summer uh, university. And I would like to add something. Summer university means, as it is the same for university or for senior, the word university. And university means a uh, guarantee on level, on, uh, on academic level, and as uh, Professor uh, um, Carmen Ortiz said, uh, so the contents of the lecture are um, uh, very, uh, very strong, and this is very important to attract and to 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 give to the people uh, that they will be very happy and not disappointed yes. because of the content really? of the of the of the lecture. So uh, I hope in the future uh, it will be a development as we have the development of university. Uh, of edge uh, during the academic year. I hope it will be as well a large development of university, uh, summer university for uh, seniors. Mm -hmm. And in your opinion, how, how can we ma manage the diversity of the senior students in such international initiatives? When people come from one country, it's easier because they usually have the same cultural, ethnic, or even religious uh, background. But when it's international level, how to work with these differences? How to, to organize the program, the activities, and how to provide everything concerning with the, the diversity of the people? It could be... Yeah, this, is, this is a very important point. Uh, uh, we are on IUTA TV. I think what this is a new field for IUTA. Uh, as a Utah uh, is, a, is a place uh, for international cooperation of University of Adelaide for different countries. So one new field will be to have some guidelines for uh, summer university to explain not only how to do it, and we discuss uh, with uh, Balear teams uh, about that, but as well how to uh, develop uh, different um, uh, different kind of summer university uh, that will be the most appropriate for different country and different group of country. And uh, that would be an important field of not only research, but as well dissemination uh, for the IUTA in the future. And I hope that IUTA TV uh, will uh, be one of the tools to uh, show how to develop uh, the, this uh, summer university and to help uh, you to in different countries, not only uh, thanks for the map, not only in Europe <laughs> and the Mediterranean, yes. but, but as well in, uh, in uh, other parts of the world as well. Yes. Well, since the, the traveling is a magic and there is a magic in, in the traveling, Yes. Uh, I would like to, to show this because this is actually what we are planning to do today. Yes. We still have some uh, struggles uh, with the connection in Toulouse and in uh, Biblos. Mm -hmm. But the topic of our today's uh, issue of IOTA TV is to connect Toulouse, Palma de Mallorca, Haskovo, and Biblos. And the most important thing is in Palma and in uh, Biblos, where we have the summer university of uh, Palma de Mallorca and we have the opening of the academic year of the UTA at the American University of Technology. Yeah. Uh, since Professor Marcel Hinein is uh, busy now, still there is a hope that Professor Todor Tanev from the National University of the Third Age in Bulgaria, who take part in, the, in this yeah. event, in Lebanon, he will join us hopefully. But this is a kind of connection and network between people from different countries, and uh, our travel continues uh, with um, hopefully joining the, the TV channel. The yes, it is, it is very important, and uh, as it is shown in this map, 
um, uh, the, the magic of travel is that to connect uh, in, inside the universe, inside the Mediterranean country, uh, Western uh, country to Eastern country, as well to North and uh, South Mediterranean. As you know, we have an experience as well of uh, a new kind of uh, U3A, uh, with uh, U3A that uh, will be uh, located uh, during some period of the year inside uh, an hotel. And, uh, and this experience is related with your map because uh, one of the experience that is uh, going on, and we shall have a meeting on that at the end of, of uh, September, will be in Tunisia. So Tunisia is the ah, southern part yes. of the Mediterranean. Yes. So with the map you, you we can see on uh, Ayuta TV, mm -hmm. it will be north, south, uh, and west and east. Well, and well, that, that would be uh, a way to go on that way. And it's so lovely. Yeah. I must say that for me it was very interesting experience. I always think about myself as a southerner because I live in the south of Bulgaria. Yeah. But when I I saw this map, I thought that I'm not in the south now. No. Uh, <laughs> Biblos is south than me. So it's also yeah, one of the magics probably which are hidden in the in the traveling is that we can explore, we can uh, observe and explore our own attitudes and uh, impressions and emotions from everything that we see and to question if something that we know and think is true is really true so it's about challenging our attitudes sometimes maybe beliefs enriching ourselves with a new perspective so now i know that i'm not so so much sartener than i thought before yeah. What we can see, I think that the, the, the title of this summer school is very, very appropriate and, uh, and uh, more than appropriate, it's wonderful because the magic of travel or magic of traveling, uh, we can see with our experience in the University of uh, Fernedge that uh, this magic of traveling is inside us. It's not what we shall visit, but inside us, with, uh, because we, we have the possibility with the summer university to share our uh, different experience yes. and uh, on different topics. And so we can see that uh, uh, there is really a magic of traveling, but it is not what we uh, could uh, think in the first time. It's not about postcard. It's not about... Uh, uh, some perhaps wonderful landscape, but mm -hmm. it's not that. The magic, it's uh, it's from uh, ourselves, from uh, yes. from ourselves as a lecturer, yes. as a student, as participants, mm -hmm. and and uh, and so uh, the experience of this ten years uh, summer university in Balear showed that this magic is as well a reality. Yes. Good. Very well said. And so, Professor Velas, you are a global travel traveler. You travel a lot. And what is what is the, the magic for you? You said something, but what magic did you find from your own experience in travel? I, I, I told you the, the magic is is uh, is from uh, from the the the, uh, the, the, the to, to see us and to, to develop. But I would like to add something. The, the magic of, of, of traveling as well is that we can see that even if you are going very far, if you, even if you go to a very different country, very different population, uh, when we are working on something, while we are discussing on something, we see that uh, we are thinking in the same uh, same uh, uh, same humanitarian way, you know, uh, and so uh, this is very important because it's not a question of idioms; it's a question of uh, of um, of the, 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 that we want to share. We want to to uh, to, to uh, it's a question of attitude, and you can see that even if you don't understand nothing with some. Uh, other um, uh, people, uh, I mean in terms of idioms, 
you understand in terms of meaning. Yes. And this is this is the magic of traveling as well. Yes. But it has to do uh, with uh, the feeling of uh, each of us, because uh, of course you need to be open to the other and uh, and to find the way uh, to. Uh, I want to say. I, 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 I use it, the, 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 the word upgrade, but it's not upgrade as a material aspect. Mm -hmm. It's upgrade as, as a, our feeling and, and, and what we can expect in the, in the travel. So uh, asking me about uh, uh, traveling in different continents, I would like to tell you that uh, the magic is that uh, we can speak uh, everywhere in the same way. Yes. <laughs> wow. This was very well said. And uh, Maria, your reflections? I see that My you're very enthusiastic. Well, I agree completely with Professor Velas. Uh, yeah. From here, I'm traveling back to Scotland and from Scotland to England because on Monday I will start the summer school, the last, the third summer school this year in the United Kingdom, the national summer school. Um, and I will deliver La Belle Epoque. But the comment that came from Professor Velas is completely, you know, is so certain in the sense of in the Baleas, we have international students from all over, you know, from Germany, from Poland, uh, locals. Uh, in the United Kingdom, the UCA or the, in, in the trust, the third age trust, organized these for 1,000 U3As and 400,000 students. And when we organize the summer school, it's for locals. They could come from Scotland, from Ireland, from Wales, or from um, England, but they are all British. So it's not the same feeling that I had today with the students here. It's, different. it's a completely different approach. As you can see, oh, the yeah, wow. see, is a oh, Make a picture. See? You have uh, Gustavo from uh, oh. Colombia. Uh, that is a picture um, from Bratislava. From yeah. Sweden, uh, and from Lebanon, and yes. from uh, uh, Senegal. Senegal. Uh, it, yes. was, it was last, last, it was last uh, in Bratislava. Bratislava. Wow, nice. Slovakia. Like yes, wonderful. Professor Professor Todor Tanev wrote to me that the internet in his hotel is very slow and he couldn't join us. Ah. That is why we don't have such uh, reflections uh, from what happened in uh, in Lebanon. But I would like to to show this photo in order yes. to illustrate uh, Professor Marcel Hinain. Yes. Uh, so, and to to tell our viewers that. Uh, Recently, uh, the UTA at uh, Lebanon uh, opened its academic year, so this is an important event. And this is why I show this photo. I don't have uh, Professor Hinain on a single photo, but really this photo illustrates the diversity and the unity of Ayuta in a very good way, especially that also there is something very symbolic because the next Ayuta conference will be on Colombia. I hope that Gustavo Rodriguez, Professor Rodriguez, could uh, tell us more in the next issue yes. of Ayuta TV yes. about, about the forthcoming conference. So, to give this hint and sense of, of uh, traveling in, across the borders and the space and the distance, I would like to share this, this photo. Uh, and one more, hopefully it will open now. Hopefully it will open now. Good. Very significant. Let's yes. See. <laughs> yes. And this one again, prof Professor uh, Hinain from. Uh, we can see. Uh, 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 Marcel, Maria, Joan. Thank you, Joan. Yes. You can see the Chinese delegation yeah. as well. That's right. So even when the people are missing in this uh, virtual studio, they are not really missing. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I wanted to say to you and to our viewers. Yes. So uh, So we shall uh, do another uh, um, TV, Ayuta TV. Uh, with Gustavo in Colombia before the next conference. Yeah. And uh, 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 we shall try as well to have uh, uh, 
perhaps a shorter Ayuta TV with Lebanon uh, before Professor Todotanev uh, leaves the country. That could be perhaps tomorrow with uh, uh, Marcelina, the director of Ayuta in Lebanon. We, we could try uh, to manage this. <laughs> Okay. We could try, at least we could try. So, uh, final words for, for the final show today? To, uh, Carmen. Carmen will do the fi final words. <laughs> well, for me, this experience from the last 10 years was really good. And I think we have to follow this uh, path to be together and doing something together. Because as Professor Velas, uh, tell us before, uh, that you, you learn a lot about, well, about the landscape, about the subject you are, you are um, learning, and especially about attitudes and behavior related with the relationship between the people who is participating in the summit. So my last word, are, we have to go in this, in this path, in this line, and, and try to do something similar to this in, in other countries. Good. The rest of you, would you like to share some of your final thoughts or let it give as a final thought to Professor Orte? So, I, I give a uh, so, so. Or maybe Joan as a yeah. host. <laughs> and, and, technical, and technical support, of course. Yeah, technical support and also on the screen. Yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, in the line of the main of the thing uh, have been mentioned here, I think it is a great opportunity. This summer uh, schools for intercultural understanding, in the sense that they are international, they promote this intercultural understanding. They promote uh, in the line of IUTA goals that uh, third age people feel active agents in society, and also uh, related to the different subjects that we have been uh, dealing in in our group. In our, this is the tenth edition. No? So we have had things related to literature, culture, to water, to environment, to, and now uh, to tourism. Uh, the different topics have been approached in a very uh, motivating and challenging way for for these different uh, international participants, these different international students from very different uh, precedents. Also, on the top of that, I have to say that the summer schools have to be. Um, programs, not only on the academic uh, level, but also we have a very important part that promotes uh, a change and relationship, which are, for instance, the getting get together that we have in the evenings. For instance, tonight, for ending our uh, summer senior, we have uh, a quiz uh, after dinner that we, uh, people uh, will have the opportunity to most say that they have learned a lot. So the thing <laughs> that they have listened the most at the sessions will win and will obtain a special, uh, prize. special prize. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great, great. It is a really great ending for, for this uh, talk show today. Dear viewers, it was Ayuta TV, the online talk show of the International Association of the Universities of the Third Age. We broadcasted from the Balearic Islands and we reflected the experience of the 10th International Summer Senior University organized by the University of the Balear Islands under the motto, The Magic of Traveling. Thank you very much. We were together with Professor Francois Velas, <coughs> Professor Carmen Orte, Joanna Mer, Maria Chester, and with me from the studio in Haskovo. Thank you very much. Stay with us in future and Thank expect you. our you. new, new yeah. issues. Thank you. She, he's good. Thank you. Oh, good. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.